actors. Everyone knows Schultze mm -hmm. and Alice. How long did you did you do the Bob Cummings show? Well, we were on the air for five years, from 55 to, through 59. Uh huh. And then, of course, it was five years for the Brady Bunch, plus forever and forever and forever. Because so. people remember that character, Schultze. Mm -hmm. I mean. Amazing. I've gotten so that they, what they say is, people say, gee, you know, I'm so old, I remember when you were Schultze. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then I, I just tell them we were very young at the time. Absolutely. Yeah, that's when people say, ask me about my kids. I have four children, as Annie knows, and they say, how old are they? And I go, oh, 12, 10, 8, and 6. <laughs> But they've been that age now for 20 years, 20 years. but uh, they're wonderful. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, these next two guys <laughs> act about 10, 8, and 6. No, uh, hey. they act like three people. <laughs> they're wonderful. I love them. Williams and Reed to make Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. It's a story of a gal named Florence <laughs> who was the hostess on the country kitchen show. And though the Indian eye make the desserts now, she makes all the dough. <laughs> then one day on the show came Amby Davis. Though we tried to get her on the show before. Every time we went up to the Brady house now, they said Alice doesn't live here anymore. <laughs> It's an old movie. Oh, melody. 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 I question the melody. I question the melody a, a note or two, but it's all right. Today, boys and girls, we're going to make apple cheddar pie. And as we always say on the reservation, apple pie without cheese is like a kiss without a squeeze. Oh. What? You always say on we, the reservation? We always say that on the reservation. I thought you always say, when do the checks get here? All right. You're going to need some dessert. I mean, you're going to need some ingredients, yeah. and those ingredients will be as follows. For your pie. You'll need a pie shell. Some apple. And some sugar. Flour. And some cinnamon. Nutmeg. And for the topping, you'll need some sharp cheddar cheese. And flour. And some brown sugar. And some baking powder. And some butter. And some sour cream. And some more cinnamon. Mm. Yes, indeed. Hard Let's get make. this baby underway. Okay. First of all, you preheat your oven to 375 degrees. <laughs> I'm feeling a little preheat myself. Yes, indeed. And then you peel and core you and slice the apples. That's right. Peel, core, slice. Sounds like yuppie soft drinks, doesn't it? Uh, yep. Yuppie, yuppie soft, soft drinks, drinks. yes. Thank well, you so much. Your teeth will be working shortly. And then you take your sugar. Sugar? You mix your sugar. That's right. Along with your flour. flour. Yes, generic flour. Ooh, this is fresh stuff. And yes. cinnamon. And you put in just a tad of cinnamon. Uh, uh, one teaspoon, I believe. And then a tad of nutmeg. A little nutmeg. Uh, what is nutmeg? I'm not sure, but it's native to the Moluccas. Of course. <laughs> Look it up in the dictionary, people. That's yeah. really what it is. Really? All right, well, <laughs> you put this over your apples. You sprinkle it over the apples. Well, it doesn't matter how you do it. You put it over it. That's and it says to toss. It's now, you look at there. You don't have to toss. You can just shake. Gently look shake. Look at that. Yes. Have we got a camera on that? Oh, Why, God. it's amazing. How does he do Isn't that? Isn't that amazing? And his arms are flapping. I can feel the cool breeze. <laughs> and then you take... And then you take your pie shell. Now, it doesn't matter what kind of pie shell you use. You can even make it for yourself. Oh! And you place your apples in there strategically. Right, uh, right in the pie shell. Yes, indeed. And there might be a little more than on... Yeah, just do this. Oh, yeah. And then... Mm. And then you... This is place called... Place them over there evenly. This is called arranging... Arranging <laughs> your apple slices in a range. And what a job you've done Yes, doing indeed. That. And then you bake... Gee whiz, you bake this for 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. While it's baking, yes, indeed, it's time for the mm, afternoon matinee. Oh, yes, God. indeed. Today we've got Ann B. Davis, Al Davis, Sammy Davis Jr., Hank Williams Jr., Paul Williams, Andy Williams, Bruce Williams, Bruce Willis, Randy Wallace, George <laughs> Wallace, Wallace Berry, and Fritzky the Wonder Cat in I Rang the Doorbell, Didn't I? Yeah. Yes, indeed. All right. mm. <laughs> now, as this... As this has already baked for 15 minutes. Baked for 15 minutes? That sounds like something Judge Wapner would sentence someone to. Oh, <laughs> yes, he's a nasty old. All right, well, anyway, you baked for 15 minutes, and then in another bowl, you take a cup and a half of grated chi cheese. Yes. People, this is enough cheese to stop up the Persian Gulf. Yes. Do not eat this much by yourself. No. And then you put in your flour. And then they wonder why Indians are cranky all And you put in your brown sugar. You eat put this in cheese. You put in your brown sugar, or as George 
George Bush always says, the little brown sweet ones. Yes, yes indeed. <laughs> mm. and, then, yes. and then you mix that up with your butter and... No, you put your butter yep. and your sour cream. Which one you put in first, Ginger? What? You put both at the same time? I like that girl. All right. Put them both, put them both in at the same time. Yes, indeed. And you mix this up like this. Oh, and what a delicious oh, meal is this is going to be. There. Oh, it's coagulating. That nice. That's an Indian term. You know what it means? Mm. Boy, with the melted butter and sour cream with the cheese, it's like rocket fuel. Oh, now. yes, indeed. I checked and the O-rings on that bowl. Oh, there. right. And then, oh, you put this like this. Now. Yes, yes uh, indeed. Spread it evenly. You spread it evenly. Spread it evenly. Evenly. You remember the Evenly Brothers? Dunn and Phil, Dunn I think. Dunn and Phil, the name. greatest hits of the Evenly Brothers. Oh, they yes. had cream, cream, cream. Cream, cream, cream. And you make me feel new brand. Oh, yes. And, and bake up little Susie. Bake up little Susie. And bye-bye lunch. And bye so bye. sad to watch good bits go bad. Yes, indeed. <laughs> and then... And then... You bake this for an additional 30 minutes or until the apples are tender. How do you know when your apples are tender? They usually have a little ice pack on their stem. All right, let's recap and see what we've done so far. You preheat your oven to 375. Peel corn, sliced apple. You mix your sugar, flour, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Sprinkle over apples, toss. And then you arrange the apples on the pie shell. Bake 15 minutes. Mix your cheese, your flour, your brown sugar, your baking powder. Do step eight. And spread over apples. And bake additional 30 minutes. And this is what it looks like. Oh.